Hey everyone, today I'm showing you the AK-1. Just making a quick video just in case some of you guys were wondering if you wanted to buy it. And I'm going to jump right into it. Let's go ahead and shoot the gun and then afterwards I'll show you the small details, how to reload it and all that stuff for those of you that actually care. Let's go shoot it. Before I forget, um, semi-auto and auto. Um, we're going to do one little, a couple semi shots and then we'll go auto. Alright, here's just a few semi shots. Okay, um, let's go full auto, which is the exciting one. Alright, and the other thing that I want to do this video is kind of show you how many mags you can go through with two CO2s. So, that was one mag. We're going to, I don't know if I'm going to do like a time lapse, I'm going to do something, but we're going to go through, keep doing mags until we run out. You guys can kind of tell how many of these you go through. Alright, that was mag number two. Let's do number three. Alright, you guys are counting the mags, right? Um, we're like three, four, five in. I already lost count. I'll probably put up a number on the screen. But you can kind of tell we're already a little running out of air, so um, you don't get too, too, too much out of like two CO2 cartridges. Again, I'm very new to guns, um, like uh, CO2 guns. I expected it to hold a little bit more, but um, it doesn't. So just so you guys know, you will be spending quite a little bit of money on CO2. It seems to run through it very quickly, especially if you're on full auto. You can hear the way that it sounds. It's already slowing to die. And you can kind of tell, it just uh, kind of pooped itself. So, whatever mags are on, there you go. All right, next mag. Here we go. Will it even be able to shoot? Let's take a look. Nope. Couldn't finish this mag. Okay, now that we've shot it, I'm just going to quickly show you how to reload it and kind of the different parts. So, um, you've got this up front. You can actually take it off, which is pretty, pretty cool. I'm not going to take it off because it's going to take a while to get back on. You've got the stock, which you can go up, down, depending on, I don't know, how tall you are. So yeah, it also folds in. If you just press this button over here, it just kind of comes into it, which is pretty cool. So you have um, the railing right here, and I do have um, a red dot on it. You probably even see it. Well, it's a green dot. Let me go ahead and make it a red dot. There you go. So I do have a red dot on it. You can actually see it even probably there. Yeah, it might be a little small for you guys, but there is a red dot. This does not come with the gun. I had to buy this, but it was like $30, $40. It genuinely wasn't that bad. Um, but it has a railing to attach things like this. Now, um, it does come with this one right here. So this is its own little um, crossfire thingy, and it's got this too. So um, you could still aim down even without the red dot, but honestly, um, I really recommend getting a red dot. It's like almost no fun to shoot without it. Um, just my opinion and then you've got the side thing so you can put things on the sides also so there's the full gun again you could do that and then obviously um, here is the mag it, it just comes out with this little button press and it comes out um, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to reload it so to reload the gun it's actually fairly easy um, you have kind of you can kind of see how it looks in the back there the bigger end kind of comes apart now with the gun it'll give you uh, this little piece which you'll need to actually reload so here is the inside if it's two of the co2 cartridges now it's very important and this is again i'm not like a gun guy i literally just bought it just for fun i had to learn all this but you can see that on there it actually says first you want to ironically put the co2 in that one first so as you can see um i'm just gonna go ahead Stick it right in the first slot and then what you do is you take this thing and screw it in um, now you can put the other one in just like that um, but you just want to make sure that you screw in actually i should probably go here just screw in this one righty tidy lefty loosey type deal Ooh. don't do what i just did and then just go ahead and you're gonna hear a little but it doesn't let out as long as you do that one first it doesn't actually 
let out much of the air, so that's pretty cool. There you go, a little, and you're done. That's it. Just a very quick tip um, for people who love losing parts. What I recommend is keeping that little bit actually inside of here. Once you're done with the gun for the day, take the CO2 out. You don't want to leave it in there because it could damage the gun. Put that piece in here and then close it up. I haven't lost my parts that way. Little tip. So, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> as I say that, I mess up. Go ahead. Um, just kind of close it back up. Um, and then where you put your ammo is right here, just like any other gun. You take this thing all the way to the bottom. Ooh, put it, Take it all the way to the bottom. Put in a little slot and put your BBs in the hole. So, I do have a quick loader, um, but I, don't, I didn't bring it outside with me. So, I'm going to pour straight from the little bottle here. And of course, I will drop a few, but you just pour them straight in. Good time. Again, with the quick loader, this is much, much faster. I'm going to be a little weird. I, whatever. And that's really it. You got your gun. You got your mag. Stick right in there. Um, before you shoot, you do need to pull this back. Do that. And you're kind of ready to shoot. Um, it does feel a little weird. I've had like new people shoot this, and they're like, does it? Is this supposed to go back all the way? No, it's not. It doesn't go back all the way. It kind of goes like halfway, and then um, if you give it a good tug, you'll you'll know. You really should know. Uh, but no, it like doesn't like go back all the way. It the, you know it's not like a real gun. And then of course, if you wanted to take the CO2 out, same way, you just take this thing off. Um, yep, yeah, just take this thing off. Go ahead, use your little driver. Take the two out, reload, and uh, keep going. Okay, so I'm gonna run around um, like a weirdo for a little bit, just to kind of, I'm gonna like rotate the gun. Again, just so you guys can kind of see it a little better. Again, this video isn't like a really technical review of the gun. It's people like me and you, do you want to get the gun? You know, this is how it shoots, this is how it sounds. <sighs> yep, this is how the gun looks. That's really what I care about. I'm a little pleb. I just like how it looks. There's that. There's kind of the other angle. Once again, it's kind of cool, you know. If you if you want to like have it back a little bit, you can kind of extend the stock and go from there. If you just want to like freehand it and just do something stupid. You can do that too. It's a nice gun. It's cool. So, what do I think? Because so far I've kind of showed you the gun, but what do I think? I personally like the gun a lot. The actual shooting feels very nice. You know, when you shoot, especially on your first couple mags, you do get the slightest bit of, like, little kickback. Um, you know, obviously a real gun's very much different. But it's nice having that little, little kickback. It's nice having some of the sputters of air. It kind of makes you feel like you're shooting something actually, like, fairly powerful. Um, the sound is good and bad. It's not very loud. Which is good and bad. It's good if you want to shoot in like a suburban neighborhood, like I am. That is good. Um, it's not very loud, so it's not like a real gun though. So if you want like a really loud one that feels like a gun, it's not. It feels kind of when you're shooting it, but it doesn't sound like it. So I'll say I'll put it that way. Um, it's good, especially once again. Really recommend just getting a red dot. Just find one off Amazon. It's it works. This railing is pretty like the most common railing you'll any red dot you'll put on it if you get a red dot it is fairly easy to aim um it is accurate again there's videos with accuracy details as far as meters or whatever and like bullet speed or whatever all that cool stuff but um you could see i'm here probably like a little farther away uh, you can see it right there i can shoot and you kind of saw in the video i can shoot all of those in succession very easily with a red dot so it is accurate as far as that goes of course first couple of mags a little better than the rest but it is fairly accurate which is nice so really the only thing i don't like about it it runs out of air extremely quickly um but man, what are you gonna do you know that should really give you enough information i think this gun is like 180 200 i think it's worth it i like the gun personally um now, it's going to be a little bit more expensive if you really want to have a good time. So, once again, you need a red dot, $40, um, one of those little plinkers over there. That's going to be like $20. Of course, you'll need to buy your ammo and CO2, which will another be like another $20, $30. So, you're going to spend, you know, like a good two, $300. Um, but really, once you have the gun and once you have the plinkers, 
you need to just and bullets last for so long you can get like what is that I have a 6,000 count I'm not going out of that for a while really the only thing you need to rebuy again and again is just co2 and depending on how much you shoot it I only shoot it like once every couple weeks like you know I, I'm a little angry one day I come out hit the plinker a few times call it a day if you shoot it every single day for hours then yeah you're gonna be spending a lot of money on co2 but I personally don't need to so is it worth it in my opinion I think yes it is worth it I like the gun but that comes from a person who hasn't had a lot of them. The Crossman, I know it's like totally backwards, Crossman AK-1. Although on this side, it says model CAK-1. So whatever you want to call it, man. Ah. And once again, don't be a little dummy. Go ahead and stick your small parts inside of the mag. You don't, trust me, you don't want to lose this little wrench. I mean, I guess if you do, it's not the biggest problem in the world, but. All right, my dad's gonna mow the back, the, the, the backyard. Let's go inside. Yeah. Barking at me from the neighbor's house. House tour. Dude, I almost just hit my cat. Casper. What do you want, bud? We're back inside. Just a few other very, very small tips. Just while I'm here. If you have anything that's electronic, make sure to turn it off. You're going to run out of batteries. I've gone through like six of these batteries for absolutely no reason because I haven't turned them off. And then put everything in a place you'll remember and uh, keep it out of um, small children's hands, please. Yeah, you, I, you don't want a little kid just grabbing this and... Uh, mowing you down so put it put it away thanks for watching guys